Hey YouTube, Chris from HockeyTutorial.com here. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Reebok Pump 9Ks. First part of the review I'd like to start off with are the inside materials, the footbeds and what this skate offers you in comparison to some of the others on the market at the moment. Over here we've got the footbed from inside the Reebok Pump K skate. The skate footbed features perforations or holes at the bottom of the footbed that release excess heat, moisture so the skate doesn't pick up any extra weight and your feet stay nice and dry and comfortable inside the skate. The next part of the review we're going to cover are the inside materials and the liners of the skate. So with the Reebok 9K you get an antimicrobial liner and a hydrophobic foot liner. Now what these two mean is that with the antimicrobial liner you get a skate that fights bacteria buildup. So as your skates get wet and they dry off they build up a bad smell. The antimicrobial liner will fight that bad smell and keep odour to an absolute minimum. The hydrophobic foot liner is for moisture management that controls the excess water, heat and moisture that builds up inside the skate. All of that will be filtered to the bottom of the skate and released through those small perforations or holes at the bottom of the skate, keeping your feet dry and, t and comfortable. One of the other features that Reebok have included on this skate is EPP foam. EPP foam is traditionally found on the inside of ice hockey helmets. It's excellent for taking shots from pucks. It displaces the energy and keeps your feet safe from shock or hits from sticks and pucks. The next part of the skate we're going to look at is the heel support on this this is an excellent heel support, very, very stiff, very strong, durable, which means the skates will last a long time, they won't break down or degrade over time, which is a really nice feature to have. We're also going to look at the tongue support on this. It features a lace bite bar, which means you don't have to worry about getting any lace bite with these skates. Reebok have saved a lot of weight with this skate, so they've reduced some of the overall bulk of these, of these tongue guards, so they're a little bit thinner, but they still offer you a good level of protection. The next part we're going to look at are the laces. Reebok have incorporated a nice lace system with these skates. They give you a nice lace lock over there, which means that you can tighten the bottom of the laces slightly different to the way you'd have the top part of the laces tightened. So if you like the base of the skate to be quite tight, but the upper portion of the skate to be quite loose, you're able to do that with this lace lock system. I'll just give you a quick demo of how that works. So if I just unlock it over there, it allows you to pull the laces as you can see, and when you get to the tightness that you want, you can just lock them in. And it means that that lace will now no longer move and you can feel free to adjust the top laces to how you like, leaving the bottom laces firm and tight, which I thought was an excellent feature to be incorporated on these skates. So the next part we're going to look at is the pump feature on the Reebok 9Ks. With this pump feature it comes with a hard plastic plating around the outside of the pump for protection that can be found on the side of the pump and also the valve that releases the air once you've pumped it up and you want to release some of the air from there. With the air bladders located in the middle of the skate around your ankles. The air bladder is what's actually inflated when you pump the skates up. That's what increases your level of comfort. The next part of the review we're going to come to is the outside material of the skate or the quarter panel some might say. This uh, material over here that they've used over here is a metal mesh material that you can see over there if I just give it a little scratch for you to hear. That material is incredibly durable. It resists skate cuts, puck shots and also stick shots. They've used an armor system over here that Reebok have incorporated called Pro Armor 3 that's incredibly strong and durable. The same armor can be found on the inside lining of the skate underneath the foam liners to give you extra protection and support. Just taking a look at the overall design of the skate and the metal mesh material with the Pro Armor 3 armor that they've got there. Just give you a quick look around the skate. The toe cap on the Reebok 9K pumps is just the same standard toe cap that's been used throughout this, the Reebok range. Features a nice armour protection there to protect you against puck shots and stick shots and gives you a nice comfortable close feel. The next part of the review we're going to look at is the holder and the blade of the skate. The Reebok 9K features a stainless steel runner with your traditional Reebok holder. Now the next part is just the riveting system that Reebok have used on these skates and the blade. Although that these are just traditional rivets that you can't alter the holder on, Reebok have included these uh, screws on the sides over here so you can actually take the blade out and replace it with another one if this one gets too worn down, which is an excellent feature that you don't really find on skates these days. They normally give you just a standard rivet with no screws over there so once the blade wears down you simply have to repair or sorry, replace the entire skate. You can't just replace the blades, but Reebok have included those over there for you so you can replace the blades at your will. A lot of you might notice the cutouts in the blade that a lot of manufacturers have started to include. 
What this helps with is reducing the overall weight of the skates, which adds to your overall performance. That brings us to the end of the review. That was just a quick look at the Reebok 9K pumps. These skates are available at skateattack.co.uk. For more information and other reviews on other skates that we've done, visit hockeytutorial.com. Stay tuned.